You're going from uh, Bri with Desi5? I'll join you. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Isle 2 Flying Circus. We're going to be flying the Black September event, which is like a dynamic multiplayer campaign. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, that's my first time doing it. We need to wait to take off. Alrighty, so I think in the interest of not confusing people too much, I'm going to bring, I'm going to hop down to uh, Entente B Flight since I'll be operating in Sector Bravo. So anyone else who's wanted to fly escort or otherwise operate in that sector, I would request that you hop down there as well. Copy that. Okay. Down. All right. Perfect. It's episode three of the tank mission. They uh they go out every Wednesday. Hey, how's it going, Finish? Yeah, this event's pretty early in the day, so. Uh, definitely earlier than normal. Yeah, the this is just a test. Uh, the actual mission will start, um, or the actual campaign will start in September. And it's every week. I linked it in the description below, so definitely check that out. That should be kind of exciting. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Also, whenever I get my engine started, let me know how the audio levels are. Um, this, there's going to be a lot of voices, definitely more communication, more people here than normal. So All it's right. I heard somebody be a bit to manage. Uh, asking about doing a different recon flight. So Sounds like we've got all three recons covered. That's okay. good. Perfect. So we're starting off with the okay. recon flight. So we will be escorting a brisfit over the German lines and trying to do some recon over here in sector B. Off. Yep. It says pre-flight, wait for the signal. So I guess I'm going to wait. Uh, my overall intent is to head... I'm taking off from Oschel. I'll be heading down to Brue. I'll circle around a little bit to gain altitude, and then we'll turn due east to pick up the recon. Sounds good. Optimal altitude is 8,900 feet. Now, keep in mind, we also need to attack the balloon, and there's also... Audio is perfect. All right. Tower that needs to be taken out. I guess they'll just be targets of opportunity. The balloon, anyway, we may be able to get on the way back yeah, or something. Yeah, the balloon should be easy. Careful, the balloon's that easy. Yeah, I found out the hard way. If it gets hauled down, there's a lot of machine guns near there, and they are very accurate. Absolutely. Hey, guy, welcome. Snokes, so welcome. Plane. We've got a SPAD and three SE5s. Yeah, I don't think you have my skin. I'm in the middle of the ESC5. Well, with the red nose and the skull? Yeah. Oh, you see it. All right. Yeah. Oh, I actually don't. Pack, right? oh, man. Yeah, that's in the Flanders uh, in flame skins. That's mm, why. Mmm, gotcha. Got Well, it's I almost like in... the, the skin of uh, Dallas, so the camo skin. Hey, hey, Grife or Grife? Yeah, will you play Black September? I want to. The problem is this time, like Saturday in the middle of the day, does not work uh, all that well for me. So it'll be kind of hit or miss. Yeah, it's good to be back in the SE5. trying to spell luck and I keep hitting the wrong button. Nope, that's the wrong one as well. Come on. We should have quite a bit of success tonight. Or today, anyway, I think. Feeling pretty good. There we go. Oh my god, 
typing is not easy when you can't see the keyboard. Yeah. It's a lot in DR. Still in pre-flight. When can I take yeah. off? 15 minute pre-flight from when the server first opens up. Ah, fair enough. Wonder what happens if you take off before then. Not that I intend to find out myself, but... Hey, Taurus. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna keep my fuel. Whipped with the wet noodle. Yeah, Nikki, I do. I, I have the warthog. Refuelary arm is working. Apparently, there's quite a. We have a little bit longer before pre flight ends, and then we'll take off. I just want to get everyone masked up and ready to go. Oh, you can't run it, Lee? The graphics settings are pretty varied, so you should be able to run it on lower-end machines, but... Yeah, of course, Nikki. Sorry, we're just hanging out. Just chatting with chat. <laughs> Yeah, SE5 is probably my favorite too, although I do love the radials. Like the Softwood Camel, the DR1. They really grew on me. Captain Picard is indeed joining us, thanks to you. I shouldn't have taken uh, a streamer, huh? Oh, well. I think next time we probably want to have somebody designated to take out the observation tower. Oh, well. Interesting. They've turned down the death penalty since this is just a test server. So it's down to five minutes, but it will be 15 minutes when we're actually on the campaign. Uh. Oh, they have a uh, GUI for rearm, repair, and refuel and stuff now. Yeah, a little uh, emblem there? Yeah, I've never noticed that. They have a GUI? Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little uh, four button symbol thing next to your course and G load. Yeah. Yeah, it just came out with the uh, new update. Oh, yeah, oh, look okay. at that. Hey, Katori, yeah. have you assigned buttons for that yet? No. Okay, I used the um, T5 toggle switch, so whenever you're done with this flight, you should probably assign that. Somebody despawned. Yeah, that was me. I was removing my streamer. Uh, yeah. Uh, I see Lee. Yeah, it's one minute. Okay, I'm gonna swap out for uh, a Bristol and uh, go for the uh, observation post. Okay. I think three planes is probably enough escort for the uh, recon. We'll find out. Oh, 
Oh, Thanks, so Carol. much for my efforts to keep the engine warm. Temperature is down almost to the Carl? bottom of the age. Let my well the the ribbons designate flight leaders. Uh, maybe and with something you know work. this I guess quote unquote serious. I don't want to confuse anybody. Eh, not a bad idea. I see, Lee. I'm also bumping up my throttle a little bit as well, just to put some more energy in the system overall. Hey, Chekovic. Welcome. Should be starting really soon. Okay, start signal. Aha! You want to lead the uh, wolf? Sure, I can. And maybe the spad could be higher than us. Okay. Copy. All right, I'm rolling then. Uh, are all three of us here? Yep. Okay. Well, Briscoe's not in the field yet. I'll be there in just a sec. Gotta go up and gain altitude. All right, taking off. I'll. Circle in a left hand orbit. Up it. I guess you're in the spad, Parsons? Yes. Okay. I see the Bray airfield. I am currently a little bit to your north. Tally, I see you. And I'm just gonna climb as fast as I can. Cause the sooner we get this mission done, the sooner we can get on to the harder stuff. We're in the, the Yasa 5 Fluke Park server, Jack. It's the uh, it's the pretty much main server out oh, there for point. World War One stuff. Now, there's a check mark for unlocked gunner stations. Make sure there's not checks. It's checked, people can get it. Hey James, thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate it, man. Okay, I'm good. Check your radiator, you're uh, streaming. Oh, yep. My bad. Still had everything set for trying to warm up the engine. Crossing above you, Parsons. Hi. This oh yeah, I am streaming already. Oh, awesome. Looks like we got another stat taken off from this middle air field. Might be right. Okay. Is he flying with the uh, first group? Maybe. All right, I am up to three and a half thousand feet. I'm going to start a slow right hand circle to keep climbing up to about 6,000 and let everyone form up. Okay, I have you in sight. We'll do the same. I see you guys, three o'clock. Looking good. Hey, thanks, Logan. Appreciate it.
Raptor Attacker, the guy who actually makes my skins and IL2 custom made that one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I do. I do manually control the mix. Looking good. Up at 5,000 feet. Alright. I'm proceeding directly to the observation post. Copy that. What's your altitude? 3,500. I'm not going to get much above 4,000 because I'm going to have to dive down to attack it. Copy. I just want to be safe crossing the lines. Alright, I think one more circle and that should be enough climbing. Copy. And then I'll start heading straight towards the uh, target. I will continue to climb along the way, but I think we've done enough climbing back here. Got a contact ten o'clock lower cloud level. Seems to be moving north. Copy. I'm looking. It might be at three nine or eight now for you. Oh yeah, tally. Are there uh AI planes in this? I there don't think be. so. Oh, okay. It's just testing of the uh, the server graph. of the road. Observation post should be somewhere near there. Oh, 
All right, studying out on a course of nine zero. Gonna continue climbing as fast as I can, though. Copy that. We're with you. My end goal is about ten thousand feet. Yeah, last time we had a hard time at ten thousand, so might edge more for nine thousand feet. Nine thousand? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know do why, that. but we didn't got the message at the ten thousand. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, there's machine gun fire there in the trench right here. Two contacts, eleven o'clock, German side of the lines. Oh, uh, it's just one. But he's circling Tally. over there above the river. Yeah. Oh, man. It was just a hair off. You want to put one guy behind the two-seater and two guys higher or something like that? Yeah, we're going to try to climb above him. I'll um, stay with him uh, low. Okay. And you guys go out here. Okay, and I just, I'm looking, there's three contacts over there by that original one. There's two low in the cloud and then one high off to the left. So. Looks like they're kind of by the balloon area. No, Joy. I only see the one. Okay. I'll keep my eye on them. Oh, wait. There they are. Should I try and evade to the south? <sighs> um... As we can see, I don't know. They're probably climbing up just like us, so... But I think if we continue this way, we're going to hit them. I concur. I'm going to evade south. There's another one off the 10 o'clock, co-altitude, Parsons. Got contact. Nine o'clock. Go yeah. out. Yeah, that's the one. See him? Yeah. You want to head towards him or let him be? I'll let him be for now. I'm stay with the target. Oh, he's but... coming our way. Yeah. I. Or let's shift to the uh, left side of the brisket. fit. Do you want me to go? That's either an albatross or a spad. It's hard to tell from this profile. Yeah. Let's just intercept it. We can go together. Drive them off. It's bad. It's just bad, yeah. That's just bad. Yeah. All right, I'm turning back towards. What's your new heading? Uh, new heading is nine zero. I got just a hair north of that eighty five. Okay, I found you. Lost you for a second. Uh, test station? Ted station? It's with the Tyco SH3 patch. Like, it's like the clickable carometer. 
You just search like clickable karometer Sun 103 patch and sub sim, I'm, you'll find it. Yeah, it would be cool to have no uh, no comms, but also that's part of the fun. I have a contact low. Um, yeah, low 10 o'clock. Looks like it's heading north. It probably spotted our flight. Tally. We got flat going off behind us. So as long as they stay low, it's okay. Yeah, Once they start too. coming up to the same level that we got problems. And I see one, two, three, four contact distant, same level to nine o'clock, 9.30. Yeah, they might be doing their recon in there. Oh yeah, I see him. Well, the flak has spotted us. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Grife. Appreciate it, man. What was the uh, key code for starting an in-flight recording? Forgot what that was. R? Uh, control R? I don't Either remember. R or control R. Oh, I guess I have it unbound. Contact high. There is a D7 directly overhead. Yeah. He's right uh, in front of you guys. A little bit higher than you guys. And my gunner has Negative. noticed. I'm gonna stay near the uh, two seater. And you guys go for him. Oh, tally on him. He's diving. I think oh, maybe not. Get, get some distance. All right. I see yeah, that. I'm running as fast as I can. Yeah, he's pretty fucking high. No, he's turning with the uh, the guys higher higher than us guys. Okay, so he's not paying attention to us then. No. That's good. I'll stay in there. Oh shit. Almost he's coming on you guys. He's coming on you. Yep, yep, yep. yep. You got him, Parsons? I'm looking. Again, I lost on the head. Okay, yep. I see him. He's flying over the top. Yep, he's yep, yep. He's back on you guys. Lining up on the recon right now. Alright, he, he dived down. Yeah, he's, he's, after you. Well, yeah, he's targeting he's me. Think, he's got, thinking about making a run on you and he waved off. Alright, he's over the top of me. Okay, and he's diving? Coming? Yep. I'm probably coming on me. Yeah, he is. Okay, he's off. Pays off. He's freaking playing KD crap. He's got the advantage of the altitude. Doesn't seem like he wants to pick. Is he going to come down then? Nope. Mm -hmm. He turned off. Looks like he's coming down. He's coming down. Check six. Oh, come on. There's another one. Another one, great. Yeah, there's two, and we got a. Yeah, he's yeah. on you. Try to bring them south, guys, so that way we can come back. Okay, circling around to line up for another pass. Yeah, I'm getting shot now. Oh. You wanna you wanna dive out of here? Probably should. All right, let's go. He's on you. Following you down. Well, I drop altitude and I don't know. Going the right way. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, he broke off. Is your plane okay? Yeah, I'm all right. All right. I'm extending west right now. Same. There's actually three there now. I'm going right. Yeah, west. Yeah, I think uh, I'm on your low 12. Circling for another pass. Copy that. Calling you. I think I'm over lens right now. Okay, there must, this may be another, uh, spad here. I hope it is. I thought Wright took off. He's got to be in the air or something. Are you taking Archie? Uh, I know I saw another spad, uh, flying with me for a little bit. Then he separated when I went to him for my attack. That's me, yeah. Circling for another pass. Yeah, we should be good with the, the other one. I hope this is the last pass. I see one contact distant one o'clock, slightly low. No ID yet. Yeah, there are definitely two spads here. Are you heading like one three zero, Parsons? No, I turn I turn back towards uh, to the east again towards the towards the fight. Okay. I'm, I'm more heading to the north. Okay, I think I see you now. All right, we got over, it. Over over heading home. A little bit south of where the target is. Copy. Trying to climb. Yeah, I killed off a lot of altitude. All right, let's, let's try to see uh, right. south of that river. Don't go too north. Where's the... Uh, Roger where, that. We're going to escape a little bit to the south and then head home. Yeah. Maintaining altitude and speed. They're doing something uh, north of that river, so that's why I'm seeing that. She God damn it. Okay, I got to go. Flack just got me. Oh yeah, I was getting, I was getting hit pretty hard with that too. Yep, my engine's damaged. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yep, I just took I took engine damage, so I'm definitely heading west now. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. Oh yeah, I see I see I see you behind you're behind me. Yep. Yep, that's the, I see dihedral on your wing, you're a, you're a F5. There's a contact off to our nine o'clock taking Archie too. Nine highway up there. Adjusting course due west. Uh, you see that little lake? That would be a good place to pass. Now we go flak at uh, 10 o'clock. It's higher than us. Yep, I see it. But it's still it's like on the German side of the line, so it's probably friendly. There's an yeah. aircraft. No, it's on our side. Uh, oh. About 8 o'clock, very high. For paralleling our course. I don't know if that's friendly or... or 
Poppy, I'm looking. Oh, I see then. it. I'm turning away from that thing. It only looks sort of allied. Yeah, he's not getting shot at, so. It kind of looks like a spad from down here. Yeah, that could be right. He might he might have crawled back up high level. Alright, we get another contact trip block on the other side. He's far. Hey, Liz Glider, thanks for stopping by. You know that lake over there in that town is a good landmark. Alright, I think we are far enough away that I can start a nice sl shallow dive close enough to the base. So we'll see how fast I can get this crate going. Max RPM 2500. Max dive speed 217 miles an hour. Okay, there's Bray, there's no Lamine. I think I'll just try and land at Bray. I don't think we need to get back to the same base that I took off from. As long as I get back to a friendly base, that'll do the trick. Yeah. You don't have to be concerned about if we ditch off our base if they lose the aircraft. Uh, yeah, if we... you ditch off the base, you will lose the aircraft. Yeah. Uh, but the pilot won't be captured, so there won't be any uh, time penalty on that. Well, there, there isn't a lot of spads with balloon guns, so I don't, I, I want to get back to base. Ah. Now, if you make it to any operable base, then you should be fine. Okay. I'm not sure about that one. I think you have to bring it at the airfield. I mean, if you're able to make it to any operable base, you should be able to repair it. As of right, as of right now, I'm okay. I should be able to get back to uh, where we took off from. We took off right. from Bray, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We get three planes by the clock. Go out three very long. Three damage, but it doesn't. Uh, looking at temperature, RPMs are still fairly decent. Yeah, mine says damage too, but it seems to be running fine. I'm not going to chance it. <laughs> no, but. no sense doing that. Hey, thanks, Justin. Appreciate it. So in this, in this Big campaign, the like they were saying, your plane and your... Yeah, you should see a big forest north. Your, your plane so and I see somebody heading your pilot actually matter. Right, just disappeared behind a cloud, probably just went into it. So it, it's good to play Bray. safe and not, not get yourself yeah. killed. West. And definitely add some excitement, I, I think. I like, when I was fighting that Fokker, I probably would have done something stupid if I would have known there wasn't a death penalty. <laughs> well, Wolfie, we at least kept the Fokkers from playing with the Bristol. Yeah. We did a little dance, a little jig. I, I may have hit one of them once. No, I, d I didn't get a chance to get a gun on anybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then that second one showed up. You know... The only thing, you know, if I'd have had an SE-5, I might have had a, an opportunity or two to use the Lewis on somebody at high angle, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mostly like the guy that was, when you were diving away, the guy that was following you. That's the one yeah, I've got guns on. I would drag him, and he would keep following me, and you'd be able to get on his ass and shoot him up. Yeah. Uh, he was smart. Once he saw the tracers flying by, he ran yeah, away. Yeah, uh, whoever was flying the, that, particularly the initial uh, Fokker we engaged, he wasn't giving up any advantage yeah. at all. He was a good, he was a decent pilot. Hey, thanks, James, for some glue. Yeah, I wouldn't need it, it seems, for this engine. Man, this fabric. This Plane's bored.
Kamikaze. Banzai. No. No, no, no. I'm going to do it proper. My goal is to survive this thing. No. Just bombs everywhere except on target. Starting to descend, Wolfie. I'm with you. Alright, guys, the uh, two seaters coming to base. Be careful. Down, lining up for landing. Yeah, they'll plan at the same time, guys. I'll do a pass over the airplane. Copy. Oh, y'all, both of y'all already made it back? Yeah, we're almost at base, so let him uh, land there. first with the photos. Oh, yeah, of course. First of all, ways out you think oh, that I saw a guy land after the, the two-seater and ran on the two-seater and read the photo so that's why I'm saying that commandant I was actually thinking of doing something like that like a, a buyer's guide escorting SC5. where are they did you guys already put down yeah we're over the airfield now yeah, that's right, Roger. All right, all clear. You can land. That's, uh, like in Fighting the Flying okay, Circus, they said, just sometimes you have a, come in from the west. an anti-aircraft round with your name on it. And that's the plan. Okay. Still remember that from reading that book. Kind of stuck with me. Speaking of balloon guns, I was reading up on them. Just a quick look on Wikipedia, but it was saying that they were among the first guns equipped with uh, incendiaries other than the ones that were used against Zeppelins. And because that was considered a potential violation of, what was it, the Hague Treaty, they yep. had to be given explicit orders and were carrying papers on their person saying they were ordered to attack balloons and not fight other pilots. Yeah, everybody. Everybody seemed to want to grab uh, on the ground. German, pr uh, you know, prisoners up, and, it, and if they were able to dig around in the aircraft and find some bullshit, they wanted an excuse to court-martial them and try to shoot them if they wanted, if they had to. Uh, yeah. That was the that was the that was a big problem. There was a, there was a couple of Allied pilots that ended up. I mean, they're in uniform, but they were flying in. They were flying in recon, you know, rec uh, intelligence guys, but they were in uniform, and they were flying an aircraft that was marked, you know. But just because they were, they were flying intelligence guys in, you know, they wanted to, they wanted a court martial and shoot them. Are you guys landing there? I'm, I'm on the ground. Yeah, I'm, I'm the coming ground. in. Bad. I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm taxiing towards the, the. Okay, look out, look out, Bristol. I'm going in front of you. Roger that. Sorry about Trying that. to claim credit for my mission here. Oh, come on. Coming in. Okay. I'm coming in on the uh, hangars right now. I guess we can just do the rearm and repair, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, it's apparently a five minute reflight penalty in the uh, actual event. Oh, okay. I guess that. I don't want to run over the anti aircraft. Oh, uh, you're clear. There we go. Uh, what's the... Hey, what's that? What the fuck is there that? Oh, that's what was happening. Oh, claiming credit. Oh, okay. Yeah, he has to shoot the uh, searchlight. Okay, I've actually oh, ne I've never yeah. seen it done, so I was just like watching it like, what the... <laughs> yeah, it looks like the hangar blow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, like I was hearing gunfire. Hangar. I was like, what fucking dumbass is... <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So I how, how do you how do you initiate awesome. refuel and repair? I can't remember the the key. Uh, I'm gonna have to go on the controls and figure it out once. Yeah, sec. right control A rearm, right control F refuel. Okay, I am finishing flight on my Bristol so I can re-equip right. it for uh, whatever the next mission is. So Wolfpack, I made a little tutorial on how to do the recon flight, and at the very end it shows shooting the little target there and how to actually accomplish it. It's pretty funny to watch. Yeah.
but it was the flight that we did on uh, Thursday, actually. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. <clears throat> Donic here. Hey, how's it going, Donic? Hey. He's up in the air right now. We just uh, got back, and we're all rearming and repairing yeah. on the airfield. So did you say it was is right control? Yeah, right control F, fuel. Right control A, rearm. I'm not getting any indication that it's I, that it's happening. I'm I got the repairing, but I can't do the fueling. Yeah. Uh, well, if you pull, if you pull right. up your compass, Parsons, like the the digital compass, there's a little box there, and it should be flashing if you're repairing or whatnot. No, uh, that that uh, heads up as far as uh, ammo and fuel status, it's gone. I don't have it now not there oh uh just the basic one they so last time they had uh all of the instruments so it would tell you what your ammunition was your fuel it would give your g-force down to a decimal point now they've reduced it down to what we normally have flying on the flug park so just compass and basic g-force i'm gonna get closer to the hangar and see if i can get Thing. Uh, we still have a balloon to pop and an observation post to blow up. Yep. Gas can, any luck with that? I've put bombs on all sides of it but haven't taken it out yet. Mm. I'm about to rearm again and see if I can head out. Take it out this time. Which airfield are you guys flying out of? Bruai. Okay, I'll head over there and take a uh, Bristol as well, just to make sure. Is that plane controls? Work on the repair stuff. Is that in plane con uh, plane controls? So uh, yeah, plane as controls looking up the key binding. The... Yeah, the start slash stop rearming process is in the weapons controls, though. Oh, it's in weapons. Yeah, rearming weapons, fueling, plane controls. Right, rearming complete. Just out of curiosity, what caliber of bombs are you dropping? Uh, the 112 pounders, I'm carrying four of them. Roger that. I'll load up with four as well. F. So we came back the four planes. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we lost a single person. All right, I am loaded. I am gonna take off and circle until you guys are up. Okay. I guess you can't do multiple things at once, like repair and refuel. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Right control. A. You can. Just click. You, you can. Say, yeah, you, you can. Right. Up if you want. You click it again, and you stop the fueling, so. I'm not getting any indication of whether it's starting or stopping. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're too far away oh, from the, the truck over here, Parsons. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll start. I'll, I'll... You have to be near the truck. I thought you... Had... I thought it was. This is usually giving me the indication pretty much anywhere on the airfield. I wonder if there's a limit to how many planes they can service at once. I am repositioning. I'm going to go in front of these, in front of the SE5s here. Copy. Go over near the truck. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a, uh, I, I got my icon, my uh, heads up icon back for fuel and armament. Okay, yeah, it must have been. It's flashing right now. Yeah. It came up. So you got to be near this, this truck over here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Cool. 
Yeah, I can't I can't get it to re refuel and repair, so we'll see. Well, I'm getting I'm getting a repair. I'm getting a repair. Yeah, the repair is is done. Uh, you don't have to do nothing for the repair. It's only yeah, the, the, the rearm and the refuel. Uh. Well, I'm still not getting any indication that I'm getting. I got it. I got it working. Or ammo. Yeah, it's right control F and then right control A. Yeah. I'm an idiot. All right, I'm refueling. Stop refueling at 79%. That should be sufficient. Still repairing. My plane must have been pretty fucked. <laughs> uh, so at one point, I noticed that it, even when my plane was fully repaired, it kept saying repairing cockpit, even though... Cockpit yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Okay, because that's what they've been on for a minute. So that may be yeah, it. Yeah, you're probably good to go. Keeps telling me that I keep getting a repair engine and my and my uh, repair engine indicator and the heads up display is still flashing. Yeah, it took the it took a while for yeah, me to repair that's the engine. Extensive repair right there. Here, one sec. I don't know. With the amount of time that we're spending on this rearming and refueling, it might still be more time efficient to just do a reflight. Well, now we know. Yeah, it well, took what? Yeah, I think most of the time was spent figuring out how to get it to work. Once you got it working, it's a lot yeah, it took it took me two minutes, so that's not too long. Yeah. As opposed to a five minute reflight timer. Yeah. Which is what they're going to have. You guys about ready to take off? Okay, I'm back. It's still telling me it's repairing cockpit. Yeah, that's oh, apparently that's the bug one. Cockpit is just a bug. Uh, as far as I can tell, I was getting that even when I wasn't damaged. I I'd see that okay. as soon as I just spawned in. All right. I'm going to start engine. All right. So if you're concerned about your fluke park stats, they keep it under a separate campaign than the normal weekly events. Is this SE5 here one of us? That's me, I just I, loaded him. I, oh, I, gotcha. All right, so what's the... Yeah, what's, what's the plan? What's the target? Uh, the balloon? Well, Bristol's head to the observation post. Uh, anybody else can provide cover and go for the balloon. Copy that. Just now we've accomplished the uh, recon, so I think they're going to be paying much closer attention to the uh, observation post. Okay. Anyone have a desire to lead this one? 
Oh, you're good there, Wolf. All right, I guess. <laughs> do do we keep two planes with the the package and two higher? Or what? Like yeah. last time? Yeah, that's probably that seemed to work out okay. Yeah, right. gives the gives the ops the uh, Bristol a, ton, you know, a chance of getting away if we're yeah. if we dance with them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Rolling. Now, of course, right. at this point, we're not worried about protecting any fragile photographic plates or anything. It's just, it's nice to stay alive. For yeah. sure. All right, left-hand orbit with the burst fits. Yep. Two's up. Uh, I think at this point, we're going to point uh, towards the target and head straight there. Copy. Looks like you guys are all up and flying, so here we go. Did any of you see the balloon uh, on the first run? Yeah, I saw it. Yes. Okay. Was it low or was it high? It's there. It should still be high. It was high and very difficult to do, so be careful. They got laser flat. Good thing is if Ramel is over there, uh, he's doing a uh, offensive patrol over on their side. They are gonna have. They are gonna be busy. They're, they won't necessarily be really high looking for us. They're yeah. gonna be dodging him. Hey. It's always appreciated. Yes. And we won't lose aircraft if you land if you don't land on your original field then. Um, yeah, I guess not. So. The is you should not lose aircraft if you do not land on your original aircraft. It should okay. still be good to go. All right. Definitely you're able if you're able to uh, prepare refit for the arm. Uh, not sure how it works for uh, leaf light. What is your uh, cruising altitude going to be? The uh, burst fits? Sorry. Uh, I don't intend to get much higher than 3,000 feet. We're going to have to drop down when I get close to the target area anyways. Okay. And you'll want to be a little bit lower than the balloon, so as they start hauling it down, it's right in the target area. Yeah, I'll probably have one low, one high. Hopefully we can finish it in two passes. So I'm curious, if you're wounded, will uh, repair, heal your wounds? What do you think? I'm not sure about that one, yeah. So I know it'll fix the airplane. Yeah, yeah Elf, I'm icon, flying the RAF. The UM, UM, hey, how's it going, Roger? Hey, go, welcome. How's it Pilots going, everybody? Just as easy to fix as airplanes. Just throw a Band-Aid on there and call it good. Yeah. Keep this comes out. Give Bottle you a of whiskey. You're all done. Yeah, the whiskey especially very important right there. Yeah. Get some of that liquid courage in you, and you're good to go. Little well, cognac. <laughs> I know that there is a bug with the uh, gunner ammunition will not be replenished. So if you're uh, in a two-seater and you're going to use a lot of ammo, you're going to need to refly. I'm not sure about that one. I think it was repaired uh, in the last update. Oh, they think they fixed it? Okay. Yeah, you, you should check that out. All right, I will test that probably offline at some point. Yeah. Somebody said that it was repaired, so... Where's the plane, Wolf? I don't see them. Uh, they're down low, low uh, 11, 10 o'clock-ish. 
Copy that. I'll right on go the deck. With de I'll go low with them. Okay. Just in case. I kind of want to get to the cloud deck, and we'll cover them from up here. Copy. I'll try to shoot it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that was shooting at me. Ah. Yeah, and I was over. I was down south by Lent. I was getting shot at. Is that what hit you, or what did flat get I you? I don't know. I think it was the heavy stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's what got me too. So. Because yeah. all of a sudden, I it started landing all around me. <laughs> yeah. I'm throttling down so I can keep the brisk fits in sight. Yeah, I'm coming on their six. There you go. Adjusting course to the left. You can see that uh, road up there that heads towards the trenches. Our target is just at the very end of the road. Copy. All right, we're getting flak 10 o'clock. So, watch yourself. Yeah, I see that. Two planes, nine o'clock. They're over the, uh, the cloud. We don't see them now. I do not see the target. You sure it's there? Yep. I've dropped bombs on it twice so far. Just follow me in. Roger that. We're going to come at it directly from the south. So just follow the line of the road a little bit beyond the road. And you'll see a tiny little tower. Ah, roger. I got it. Yep. I want to do two bombs at a time see if you can get them directly on the tower. I've been getting them just right next to the thing. Not quite taken it out. Got to be directly on it, as far as I can tell. Okay, tally on the balloon. Where's the machine the balloon, gun? Balloon's at uh, 10 o'clock. It looks like it is low. And we can dive down on it fast. Or we can wait. But yeah, it's on the ground. I mean, it's right down in there amongst the machine gun. Yeah. Yep. If we're diving in fast. Bombs away. Whoa, there we go. That was at least one direct hit. Circling right. Bombs away. Uh, contact, Good. high. Tw 11 o'clock. There's Archie and two aircraft. I don't know. Uh, watch yourself getting shot by a uh, machine gun, guys. You see this? Yep, I see it firing. You two have the balloon in sight? Tally on the balloon. Alright. Hey, how's it going, Tail? If you uh, if you wanted to join, we're in the Yasta Five Fluke Park Discord. Bombs away. Make sure you break off quick. There's machine gun there. One looks short. One yeah, I just want to be a short burst. You got it. Good job. You nailed it. Let's move out. I got the machine gun. He's out. Awesome. All right, we're heading for home. Yeah. The balloon sector C destroyed. Observation post sector B destroyed. Oh, the balloon's right there in the north. You want us to go for it? Yeah, we're diving on it now. Okay, I'll stay with the uh, two seaters then. Yeah, we'll take a look at that area as well. I know there's some machine guns in the area, so make sure you take out the machine guns first, because they are dangerous. 
aircraft coming in hot, breaking. Break. It's a German. Yeah, Cross. you've got two of them coming in. Circling. Two of them. Ah, oh, fuck. Good hits. Got some hits. I'm going for the balloon. Let's get this thing down. Okay, there's an, uh, a set of artillery nearby. Phase one completed in sector B. Albatross right, is dead. I am coming on the balloon. You said there was a second? Yeah, I saw another one. So watch yourself. Copy. Damn it. Right into the ground. All right, I'm coming on the balloon, guys. Copy. Jolly good chaps. Carry on. <laughs> Firing at the AA, see if I can take it out. Uh, well, I don't know if I got hit by machine guns, but I burned my engine up. So. Are you are you gliding back, or are you dead? No, I I am. I will never make it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, somebody's albatross just crashed. All right, I got it. Move out. Another one? I got the balloon. Okay, we have a contact. Far 6 o'clock coming in hot. All right, I'll uh, go with the two-seaters. Albatross coming in. Whoever's low, watch out. Copy. Yeah, I see it. Um, oh, he's on the two-seater. I'm, I'm coming. coming. He's out. He's out. Woo. You guys don't forget about that machine gun down there is shooting like a motherfucker. Yeah, oh, copy. I'm, I'm down. My plane is out. Okay. Uh, On the alb. Whoa, multiple ha ha uh, albatrosses here. I think it's time to go. I got two on me. Out of there. Yep, time to go. All right. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I saw that. Yeah. Well, we got the balloon. How many friendlies are still back there? Not enough. Not enough to go back and help. One albatross down. Ah, oh, they're all over me. Yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a whole flight. Oh, that's a D7. There's a D7 in there? Coming yeah, for you, two-seater. Yeah, move out. Yeah. Huh. The challenge of having this one-minute uh, end mission timer is that I'm down, but my gunner's alive, and he's firing on all of them. Okay, I broke the Fokker off of whichever burst fit has a cooling issue. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. Of course. We have uh, two trailing us, one high, one co altitude. I'm gonna try to climb. Yeah, looks like he's taking pot shots. Yeah, there's there's three of them following. Hey, they're yeah, breaking. Still taking fire. Looks like they're breaking oh, off. Yeah, any time, Tail. The actual event starts next week for real, so uh, I'd love to see you on. This has been a blast. I'm having quite a bit of fun. I've never done anything like this, so. There's supposed to be a 10 minute capture timer, but it's not working correctly. Just a problem with uh, IL 2. Yeah, you might be able to escape also. There's like a little thing like that. Wow, we got out of that pretty good. Shot down an albatross. We're alive. I don't think I took any hits either. Definitely a good engagement, all things considered. So 
I'm guessing our next mission is going to be the artillery spotting? Yep. I've grabbed it. I'm gonna wait until you guys are back home before I take off, though. Roger that. I've got a five minute. I'm waiting for my five minutes. Yeah. Copy. Are there any other missions in phase two other than the artillery spotting? Yeah, there's going to be trench attack after that. I mean, the other spot, uh, other possibility with the artillery spotting is to attack the uh, artillery post directly, but that's of course more dangerous. I know that I strafed the uh, machine guns there on my way to the balloon. But I don't think I took them out. Mind my heading. Yeah, if you don't want to do the RD spawning, you can kill the uh, RD also. Yep, absolutely. I don't know if that's a good idea. We stirred up a hornet's nest back there. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's for sure. At least this time the uh, artillery is nice and easy to spot. Last time it was right in the middle of the forest and we couldn't see it very well. Well, I'm still equipped with the 112-pounders, uh, so I'll only get four bombs, but hey, every little bit counts. I will uh, repair and rearm and all that other stuff, and we'll see about blowing that up. See who can finish the mission faster, the arty or the uh, ground attack. Hmm. That'll be interesting to see. All right, I'm back. Okay, our airfield should be up there somewhere. Let's fuel. So I like 23 gallons. I wonder how much ammo I expended. I still have one drum for my Lewis, so I'd, I'd like to land and rearm though, if possible. But if not, we can stay airborne for a while. I'm pretty happy with that. Aircraft three o'clock there. It's a camel. Here's the airfield. Whew, eyes on the airfield. Landing east to west. Ah. 
Copy that, I see ya. Coming in as well, east to west. Uh, Antonio, I have not. I've not played that. Or that. I have not. Uh -oh. I don't know if I'll be able to get out of this area. Well, successful landing, but I don't think I'll be able to turn around. My wing is stuck stuck up against one of these Quonset huts. So I am going to have to reflate. Uh, a bunch of guys in the Yasta 5 Fluke Park Discord, Nicholas. Tori Gas Can. Parsons. Donut. Uh, my friends, really. <laughs> guys I fly with uh, fairly regularly. fixed. Rearming turret guns. Yep, they do get rearmed now, I guess. Yep, there it is. They definitely fixed it. That is up and running now. Most don't, though. That's fantastic. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right. I don't think I'm in the, the area. I'm going to cut and cross. Looking good, chat. What sort of payload do you think I should be carrying? I'll take the 212s and the 824s. Should do the job. Are, are you guys bombing it or uh, recon it? Uh, I was going to do the recon on it. Katori seems to want to bomb it. I'm fine either way. Go bomb it. It's going to be faster. We'll stay over you guys. Yeah, all right. Uh, in that case, grab uh, a bunch of 24 pounders. Repairing in process, so I'm not damaged. Bunch of the little guys. The Rogue stream's not in 1440p, right? It should be uh, 1080. Hey, up. thanks, Feeman. Appreciate it. Glad you like the videos. I'll grab the same thing. Uh, and whoever goes in first, just drop a whole string of them. Probably about eight of them. And then we'll check and see okay. what... Uh, Rearming complete. Clear out yeah. individual things. Yeah, don't forget it's the small bunkers, not the big ones. Yeah, the little ones? Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, I got you, Nicholas. Most say they're a myth. That's I still right. Don't want to carry enough fuel for an hour's worth of flight. You never know when you might have to go someplace. Which is how much? 
little over 50 percent. Okay. 90 liters it is, 53 percent. We're doing pretty good work. You, you want to lead there, Wolf? Yeah, I can do it again unless someone else wanted to, but... And I'll stay with the package. We'll okay. with them. Yeah, it seems to be working out fairly well having one with them and then the rest high. Yeah. Oh, someone's coming he, he, in. Yeah, watch out. Ooh. All right. Spanish. Oh. That was that was beautiful. <laughs> that spin at the end. That's almost an eight on ten. Yeah. Pretty soon, Roger. Uh, there's a new P47 campaign out. Um. P oh my gosh, what was I trying to say? Oh, a new P-47 campaign out called oh, Hellhawks Over the Bulge. Is he rearming? Oh, his I engine's on. Not in anyone's way, is he? Well, he's in front of the two seaters. That's going to be difficult for them. All right, well, I mean, we... I'm clear. okay, I'm going to start rolling then. Oh, he's out. All right, Tori next to you. Roger that. We're rolling. But as I was saying, there's a new scripted campaign <laughs> called Hellhawks Over the Bulge. They have a whole bunch of voice acting in the campaign. So, uh, I do want to play that. It's 16 missions. But I want to do something a little different than my normal series with it. So, um, I'm going to work on that. My next IL-2 series will be in the I-16, though. Look at that. That is awesome. You doing all right, Donut? Yeah, I'm good. All right, gotcha. Just making sure you're quiet. Wife's taking a nap on the couch, so. Ah, oh, I see. Trying to be a little quieter. That is so badass, though. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. Y'all don't want to know what I just fucking did. I see you falling to your death. God fucking damn it. Did I, you, uh, I press control... Did you I press control R to start recording, and I guess I press control E at the same time, and my guy just fucking jumped out. That's, I've seen that happen oh, before. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, those buttons are a little close. Yeah, I'm changing that now. What the hell? Well, have fun. <laughs> Looks like I'm I'm dead. I mean, if you want to hop in somebody's gunner seat. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, Katori, let's turn towards. Roger that. <clears throat> I am at your three o'clock. We should be heading due east. Roger that. Uh, all right, the rest of the guys, if you want to go higher, I'll stay with the two seaters. Aye. Roger that. We'll climb up to about 3,000 for the initial crossing, and then we'll go in on the uh, diving in on the attack. I can't believe I did that. It's happened before. I've I've seen more than one person do that wolfie yeah the buttons are just too damn close yeah i gotta switch that
Quick, to the forums, or you must lodge a complaint. <laughs> German planes OP. Yeah. Our, key, our key controls to force ejects. I guess my guy just had enough. This is this ruddy war. And that's what got uh, Luffberry, I believe, in the uh, real war. He accidentally fell out. Yeah. And I'm sure there are plenty of other pilots who did the same thing. Somebody's steaming. Check your radiator. If one of the two-seater... Thank uh, you. That's me. I'll oh, the respawn timer is only five minutes. I'll be okay. Okay. I'll leave it as it is. Oh, heads up. I see one, two, three contacts. 12 o'clock, same level. On, on our side? Uh, they're very distant. But they are straight ahead of us. Over the lines. I can't tell if they're friendly or enemy at this distance. Yeah, I see them. I see at least two of them. But they probably... If that is Germans, they do know that there's a recon in the general area. Or at least a... Uh, artillery of some sort. Yeah, there's four of them. Yeah, let's keep our uh, aiding for now. I am I'm really upset about that. <laughs> that sucks. Ninety three seconds, folks. That's war, I guess. Forgot to put on my seatbelt. Forgot to strap in. Time to we time could to pretend to be doing the uh, artillery spotting. Fire a few flares and then draw them off. And then somebody can zip in and do the uh, bombing. Roger that. Uh, who wants to un... Gascan, do you want to unlock your gun seat? Or should I? Uh, don't worry about it. Wolf said he was going to wait. Yeah, I have okay. 90 seconds. I'll take off and ah, run up roger there. Roger that. Okay. We need to be south of the lake. There's the lake. There's the arty down there. Yeah, should be after the mud. There's going to be uh, a long leg of forest near you. Yep. I mean, we saw the enemy artillery when uh, moving to attack the balloon, and I'm pretty sure I saw ours when I was returning from a previous flight. I'm going to head a little bit south of you guys and see if I can't find... Oh, there's our artillery. Okay. So, Katori, do you know where the uh, enemy artillery is at? It's in sight right now. Negative. I do not have eyes on, or at least if I do, I'm not recognizing it. Okay, they are just outside of the uh, trenches on the German side, further south of you, probably about your one or two o'clock. So, where that uh, cloud shadow is? Uh, just a hair north of that. There might uh, be one. Right? There might be one in the forest. So be careful on the right side. They uh, adjusted the position. It's no longer in the forest. Ah, Roger that. I see. I got him. Okay, I'm gonna start throwing some flares over here. See if I can get their attention. If you guys want to descend and see if you can head in. I'm going to make it look like I'm trying to do the uh, recon. Yeah, there are two seaters. That's what I've been escorting. Copy that. We're moving down. I'll try to hit the uh, machine gun with the SC-5. Watch the flak. Oh, I just got hit by flak. 
I saw that. It's very accurate. Got an engine damage and an oil system failure. Yeah. Okay. I think you're okay for the bombing. I concur. Should still be able to finish the mission. Or at least do one pass. Yep. Just unload in a straight line directly over the top of them if you can. And I'll see what I can clean up. So, two enemy planes over us. D7 and Albatross. One is moving down. He's going for the, the two seater going on him. Watch yourself. Two Taking fire. Lining up for the bomb pass. I got him off you. I'm going on him. Got a few shot on him. He's down. I got another one. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, they're all over me. I'm down. Okay, I'm well, on my way in for my pass. Well, we got two. Two down. All right. Let's go round two. All right, I'm going to ditch my remaining bombs, try and get some speed. I'm getting out of here. Y'all are over the artillery position still? Yeah. yeah. There, there's a lot of people there. What altitude? Low. On, on the bridge. Right Copy that. I'm taking off now on my oh, way. I'm going to get blasted by flak here again. Mm. All right. I'm running for home. Hopefully my engine will hold together. Uh, sorry, Ronald. I'm also running for home. My radiator's hit. This one will stay up, though. Okay. Uh, I took down one of the... Uh, before we do anything else, settings, key mapping, I think it's in service, enable, disable flight recordings, just R. Okay, and this is also bound to select ammo. Ooh. Okay, maybe plane yeah, control. The engine on this Bristol is insane. It just takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Uh oh, machine gun's firing. Where's the bailout? Should we go for the the, the top north guys for that one? Eject. Sector A. Oh no! They took out my elevator. There we go. It's going to be hard to accidentally click that now. Well, hopefully I blew up the machine gun there. I don't know if I did or not, but I'm dead. Yeah, I, I would say just go for A, one shot, and then come back to B, so that way it would wait for us for nothing. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. If we go after the observation post, pop the balloon. That's it. They still have a recon up there as well. Yeah, there are two seaters, what, Nicholas. Yeah. yeah. Although I bet if we hit the uh, observation post and pop the balloon, that'll start the. Uh, they'll just put up a balloon in Alpha. That should be after a certain length of time. After 90 minutes of not accomplishing the recon, it should spawn. Now, you get those in the top north, they're going to go north and we'll come back to B. Overheating. All right. Goal for this one is to not botch my landing.
Yeah, they got most of the planes at Trezan other than the SPAD. I guess that's y'all heading back. I got a streaming SE5 at my nose. Yeah, that's me. Copy. Yep, and Bristol down low on the deck. Well, at this point, I probably am safe to start climbing. Is everyone returning home? Yep. Copy. I am. Yeah. So I rebound the bailout key to control shifty. That's going to be hard to accidentally hit. Yeah, yeah you won't be able to sneeze and jump out of your airplane. <laughs> yeah. And I used to have problems where they pull the pilot up a two-seater and I try and hop in the gunner seat and the gunner would just automatically hop out. Huh. Yep. He used to. That's still an issue. Airfield in sight, I might actually make it. I mean, you have the central powers in on taunt. You have like German, French, American, all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, that's an awful idea, Royal. So are y'all going to replane or are we going to take off from Beret and head north again? It looks like somebody's doing stuff in uh, Alpha. Oh yeah, look at that. Awesome. They still have the other observation post. Yeah, you want to do that one? That's and, then, and then go back to B. So that way they'll go north. Mm -hmm. Yep, see I'll stick with my current plane, so I'll just rearm and refuel and all that, but... Then I'll load up with the 112 pounds and take off from the same area. I'm going to have to keep going. If I can turn, why isn't my plane turning? Check your rudder, make sure your rudder's working. Oh yeah, my rudder cables are severed. I have no ability to turn. I'm in from the west, I'm fine. No, I'm not. I've been taken off. Well, I guess I am going to have to reflate. They can't repair that? I can't turn to get close enough to the uh, airfield. Oh, I see. I see the issue. Who's in the camel there? I don't know.
sitting right in the middle of the airfield. Yeah, and watch yourself. There's another plane coming the other side to land. Oh, yeah. Wave off, wave off, wave off. <laughs> Need a bigger field. <laughs> what it feels like sometimes. Oh, who is that next to the I'm trying to come in again. No, I I didn't turn sharp enough, so I'm gonna have to replane here. Hey, thanks, Nicholas. I appreciate it. Boy, I went in the rough. My, uh... My experience modding 1946 it's is pretty be hard limited. To make par over here. I've only used uh, Dark Blue World and uh, VP Mod Pack, so I haven't had any issues with them though, really. They make a good chip shot. Well, it counted it as a, as a successful landing, so I guess I was close enough for that. Yeah, it was not close enough for the repair truck. Yeah. We're going to be going in front of the flight line, so we don't take off. But... Taking off. So we're going to try to go for the uh, observation post today. Yep. Uh, Nicholas, it may be ending fairly soon. I probably have a couple flights left in me. I have uh, I have some things I got to take care of this afternoon. What's for you? Yeah, that's right, Kevin. Jeez. Uh, yeah, it should be whatever the all right you have to control a for arm Payload should I take this time? I'm kind of curious to see how the uh, 24 pounders do against the uh, what's the call it? You might want to take two 112s and eight 24s. Roger that. Just to see how well that compares. I remember Sid's what I was saying last time. It takes two direct hits take out the uh, observation post. I don't know if that's 24 pounder or 112 pounder. Because I dropped eight bombs myself alone, and then another eight bombs, and I know you dropped four bombs. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've done three runs on it, and you did one. So, 16 112 pound bombs to take the uh, target out. I'm all, re I'm all ready to go. You want to go by a platoon and then uh, move the northeast? North, northeast? Follow the, the coast? Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Copy that. We'll stay on our side and then we dash across the lines once we cross. 
crossing the Alpha recon area. Uh, yeah. Does anybody want to tell the guys up in Alpha that we're going to head towards uh, observation post? Clear it up for them? Sure. Yeah. Let, let's try to have two. Yeah, let's have two levels of uh, fighters. That, that that way we're able to uh, protect higher. Yeah, it's been working pretty good. Topwood's taken off. I don't know if that's in our in our group. I don't think so. I'll stay low with the package. Okay. Are you ready to take off? Yeah, go to the Cedars first. Yep, roger that. And fire on a green flare. And let's do it. Here we go. Throttle up. Throttling up. can catch up and we can just head straight there. Hey, Craig, welcome. I would welcome. do one turn before and then we'll roll yeah, ahead. Yeah, just uh, give them up. We're going to go north on our side for a while, right? Yes. by the boon and then once we cross the line into the alpha zone we'll uh, jump across the lines and hit the target. Okay, hey, looks good. Alright, I'm down here with y'all. Guess we can do the same thing. Fighters climb up high. Yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay with them. Copy. I'm coming up on uh, you, Parsons. Hi. Not seeing. I only see you though. I'm not seeing Donut. Okay. Low and behind. Copy. Oh, those brisfits blend into the trees real well. Yeah, <laughs> hard, hard to see anything. Yeah, we're heading uh, 045. Did we figure out who's in the camel? No. I think it's, it's just... Out and around, out and about. Camel's with, uh, with me and the other SC5 here, so... Well, at least he's doing the smart thing and sticking close to friends. Uh, Craig, who's winning? Well, we're doing pretty well uh, in this campaign. I, I explained it. I'll explain it again. This campaign is like a dynamic multiplayer campaign. And your pilots matter. Your death matters. There's penalties and all that. Oh, uh, I have shot down one enemy machine, and then I accidentally pressed the bailout key, so my pilot just plummeted to his death. <laughs> so that's how it's gone. But overall, we've been very successful. I think, anyway. Get a contact. Get a contact, 9 o'clock, friendly. Yeah, I got him, Tally. All right, I see you, Donick, back there. Copy. There's not much in the way of... Uh Navigation 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be rough. Yeah. Well, we'll check the road. As soon as we see the road and the turning right, we'll go uh, straight east. Yep. I think that's our best bet. Yeah. Keep our eyes open, I guess. Two contacts, 12 o'clock high, very distant. Looks friendly. They're still over our lines and I don't see any flak. Yeah, so this, uh, it's, uh, the campaign's called Black September. It's in the description below. I linked it. Uh, I'll probably, I'll try to stream it every Saturday, midday. The problem, it's just such an odd time for me, so we'll see. But I'm having a lot of fun. And it'll last all through September. I'd be tempted to shoot my teammates? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Which aircraft was super maneuverable? It was the extra, I want to say. Yeah. So this one is good. This one's fine. Yeah. You see the, the mud? Moving in in the, our side, I think that that would be the best place to get in going east. What the narrow point in zero three zero five and zero three zero six? Yeah, the last edge of forest that you see on your right side of the road. A little bit further than that, and go right afterwards. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah. That's about right. Just give it. Give us a heads up when you make when you make your eastern leg. Yeah. Yep. So right where the road dog legs back to the left there. Uh, there's quite a few, Nicholas. I mean, I'm obviously a pretty big fan of Silent Hunter and IL-2. Yeah, and look at the mud. It's going to be... Uh, we'll have less mud to cross, so... Attempted to zip right across the mud and then come in on a northwesterly heading as we cross. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we'll try and cross at 0306 uh, 5 and then head northwest towards the observation post. I can turn them up one sec. Hopefully that adjusts it a little bit. Okay, coming up on the bend in the road. And easy right turn. Here we go. Alright, we're turning right, guys. Over to my... Copy, I'm going with you. I kind of have visual on you, but we're right above, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, we've got three above, and we've got two on our six. Oh, we've got bad guys going after the balloon. I'm seeing flak in that area. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's going down. They took it out. Well? Well, you should go there, you three, uh, three of you, and I'll stay with the package with the two guys in the back. Copy. I see yep. a tally on the contacts, they're co-altitude, turning towards them. Yeah. That it's way like they won't come for... Two contacts. 12 o'clock now. Tally. Uh, did they climb up into the cloud? I think so, yeah. Alright, we'll climb two. Adjust our heading and try to intercept. Okay, one's still low below the cloud deck.
both of them are now. Copy. And we're slightly above. Good. I can't make out what they are at this point. They're fast, though. Bristols, you still over the mud? Yes. Yeah, we're yeah, almost to the... What's your yeah. course? What's your course? Uh, 110. I'm about to turn north, uh, northwest. Third okay. contact. Far side high. Telling. Just beyond, yep. Oh, I think I see something over that way as well. About uh, 10 o'clock, just below the clouds for us. I think these are D7s. Alright, I got eyes on the target, turning towards. Yeah, as soon as you see the target, let's go low. I'm gonna drop down to about 2,000 feet. Copy that. I got a balloon, enemy balloon on my right side. Uh, Out. Alright. Flight leads turning in. I still have no eyes on the target. Alright, Victoria, do you see the uh, artillery off the left? About 11 o'clock yes. below? Okay, uh, now at about our 11.30 off the nose, there's some forests right there. And right at the point of one of those forests. Watch out! You're getting shot by somebody! Coming on! Seven coming in. I see him. I'm going full throttle on the dive. All right, I'm tangling with the Fokker that's high. I'm on uh, one of the D7. Nice shot. Okay, go on him. I'll stay with the package. Nice shots. Good yeah, hits. Good oh, hits. good. Oh, no. What happened? Shit. Okay, I'm diving out. Coming back on you guys. I'm coming. He's on your... Elevator control broken. Was that one of you that disintegrated? Hey. Oh. Alright. All bombs gone. I'm evacuating the area. Move out, move out as soon as possible. I got the other one, he's despawned. Oh, I'm getting engaged by one now, I got two here now with me. Alright, come back down. Oh, one's I'm ditched. I'm coming to you. Treating. Okay, going west. Copy that, I'm coming. Dragging he's, them, I got He's still on your six. On yeah, we got three more on us. Go home, go home. See you coming down on him. I think that's you back there. I'm coming. He's still on me. He don't want to get off. And I think I got some aileron damage. I'm not. I'm not maneuvering very well. I'm going west, folks. Copy. Go uh west. Go west. I got two on me. I'm gonna go on one is very low. The one that was trailing me is heading back towards that fight. So oh, you have another coming. I'm on the ground. Run, Katori. I'm on my way. Did, did we get the post? Oh, I'm still pretty far out, Katori. Alright, looks like Gascan's gonna make it. I'm halfway across the mud. Are you, uh, is, Ga is that you, Gascan, getting shot up? No. No, that's Katori. Okay, you have another Fokker coming in on you high. Roger that.
Pilot wounded. Gunner killed. We're going in. I tore into your pursuer. I think he bailed out. Uh, I got him. Yeah, it's your parachute. All right, I'm running now. Yeah, it was too little too late, unfortunately. I'm surprised he didn't break off at all. Yeah, he had me out of the fight and shot down effectively for quite a while because I had no control and I was in the process of crashing. Oh, I it just yeah. took a while. Yeah, watch out, guys. There's somebody shooting planes at the airfield. What? And I don't see him. All right, I'm with you. Uh, I guess gas can just went down, right? No, that was Katori. That was Katori, my bad. Okay, so I'm with you. I'm going to see if I can land at uh, Trezen up north in Alpha. Copy. Yeah, buddy, you shooting me. Those observation posts are so hard to take out. Yeah, they are really hard to hit. So I know Charlie still needs to be taken out. Alpha still needs to be taken out. And I put my entire payload on them from a very steep dive, and it did not do the trick. I did see a number of bombs as you were uh, clearing out the rest of them as you were getting away from it. But yeah. So I did a recording of it, so I'll take a closer look and see where we actually hit on those. Well, since we've apparently got them distracted up north, maybe we can shift our attention down back to Bravo and knock out the last of those artillery targets. Yep, that's definitely a possibility. Yeah, this next sortie will have to be my last. Oh, cool. We just got C then, huh? Yeah, all, the, all that's left down there is C. Yeah, we should do C and then come back to B. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Where we are. Oh, man, I might as well just refly out of uh, Beauvoir or something. In the south would be better yeah uh, uh, negative there's no there's no uh bristols available there oh really come uh, back to brewery if you want f2s out of monson alloy about equidistant from brewery and uh Trezen. so i'll go i'll go to brewery i'll turn south copy that Be careful, I don't know who's doing that, but somebody's shooting from uh, the hangars. From inside the hangars? I don't know. I, I went in the back, I didn't see any planes, so you, you must be someplace. Could that be an invincible uh, skin or. And my engine died. All right, I'm gonna have to ditch on this side. I'll be right near a road.
Yeah, I'm just gonna set it down right over here. Okay, I'm going to take a moment, check in with the uh, other groups and see how they're doing. I would, uh, Rowan, I would definitely check out the Air Combat Tutorial Library uh, channel on YouTube. Fuel is limited, yep. Well, currently have like 14 gallons. I'll probably do one more Nicholas and then I'll be done. Got some things I gotta do. Oh, aircraft ID. My bad. Yeah, it generally just comes with uh, flying. I need to look for the airfield. Thought this was it, but. All right, well, I don't see any more F3s available at Blue Eye. I thought I saw some and they just disappeared. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'm, I'm at Bro. You want me to move down south or what? Uh, I was just going to see if I could grab uh, one of the Bristol. Oh, there it is. Three out of Bro, but I'm not seeing any more available over there. We've got the artillery spotter. There's a Falcon 3 out of Achel. And there's a couple of uh, Falcon 2s out of Achel as well. So if we're going to try bombing the uh, artillery again. It'll have to do a Falcon 2s. Alright. Well, that's fine by me. If we can get the mission done and get out, we've already done a fair bit of damage to it. And I'm going to take the uh, 112 pound bombs and try and be a little bit more precise with my uh, targeting. Well. We'll go with 212 pounders and 8 24 pounders. 
I'm gonna jump off for some lunch. Good luck, guys. All right. All right. Thanks for stopping yeah. by. I'll probably hop back on in a little bit. Sounds good. Who's at Bray? I'm alone at this time. Is anyone else uh, taking off here? I'm coming in for a landing now. I need to rearm. Landing. Come in. I'm, I'm on final. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm still pretty far out, so. All right, I'm down. I'm taxing into the truck. Yeah, I'm right beside it. Let me know if you want me to move. Uh, luckily, my rudder isn't what's damaged. It's my right, my right aileron is, is jammed. Uh, I think yeah. I may be at a different airfield. The brisk fit on the runway, but I'm not seeing anyone right else. now here already. You oh yeah, brisk? that's that's me. You're at. Uh... Rochelle. The uh, two-seater. Well, hopefully two I can rearm here. Alive? Yep, uh, uh, I just reflight at Oshel. So I am currently on the ground at Oshel. You're in a Falcon 3? Uh, Falcon 2. Loaded oh, up okay. with uh, 20 pounders. Alright, which skin did you go with? Uh, the nice white one. One of the nice white ones? Okay. Hey, Duramax, welcome. Yeah, one of the first couple. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, S1 with uh, stripes on it. Oh, fancy. Yeah, I know. I was also tempted to go for the red one, but, you know. If you're going with white, then I'll go with something white as well. You guys going to pass Say again? You going to pass over Bruay for us? Or do we meet down south? Uh, we'll pass by Brule on our way there. It's yep, pretty close. Copy. So we'll go ahead and get up in the air. All right, uh, one second. I'm going to get a drink. I'm rearming. I should probably grab a quick drink as well. Take a couple seconds here. Enemy artillery battery is destroyed. Somebody took it out in the center. Oh. Awesome. AFK for a bit. Okay. Let's see. I think the next phase after the artillery was the train. Let me see. No, I think the trench is the first one after. And oh, after that, the train. Yeah, yeah, there it is. You're right. Okay, balloon at Alpha is back up. So phase three would be infantry spotter. Going after the observation post at Charlie. It should be right on the end of a road. Okay. That should be easy to find. So is anybody in the south going after the observation post or just us? Uh one of the other groups was thinking about going there. And the other group I could not understand them. They were speaking in not a language that I recognize. Hmm. All right, I am back. Okay, phase three is launched in sector B. Bravo. Okay. All right. We sent our infantry over the top. Okay, 
and our tanks after them. Yeah, I've done them in the past, Nicholas. I don't know if I'll do one. Pinned by a soon. strong point in the German lines. A bit of a bad habit, you know. We need to know where our troops are pinned to rain down precise artillery fire on that strong point. Cover the tanks until they break through the lines. All right. Yeah, that's that's the trench one in the B. Yeah, let's do let's do C and then go, come back to that one. Roger that. Sounds good. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, Bristol's. Taken off. All right, we'll take off at Roy and uh, stay over the airfield. I can tell this thing is struggling to carry the weight. Not quite as powerful. Okay. Well, I guess they're posting up another balloon to the north. Yep. That way we always have a chance at at least accomplishing all of the sectors. Passing over the town of Achel. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Dare Max. Nice to see you here, man. As always. This will be my last flight anyway, so. Oh, there's the airfield. Oh, this has been actually been quite a lot of fun, I, I have to admit. I do like taking it seriously. So, yeah, it's been pretty neat. All the coordination and all the updating yeah, objectives. I definitely feet. next Saturday maybe I'll try to try to do yeah. the whole thing. I'm the only one uh, up. I think the guys are are out for a few minutes. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, in that case, they can probably catch up. Yeah. Heads up! I see quite a flight. To the east of us. Alright, I see you. I'm coming to you now. Uh, the Brisfits just disappeared for me. I don't see them. I'm looking. I know they're here. Oh, there they are. All right, I see you one SC5 with the Brisfits. Yeah, that's me. Copy. Are you in the Air 2, Parsons? No, I, I think the other guys are are still uh, going for a drink or something. Oh, I got you. towards Aras, and then we'll turn off just a little bit before we reach the actual big city. We'll turn off at about Mont-Saint-Aloy. 
Yeah, there's a plane there. I don't know what he's doing, but he's around that way. Enemy yeah. plane. Yeah, definitely, Hummer. I do recommend it, especially on sale. Got this nice road to follow. Yep, the ribbons on the wings indicate flight leaders. Charlie, good chaps, carry on. I love all this praise from high command. We accomplished the uh, balloon defense up north. Yep, and I think it's a cumulative time, not a 20 minutes straight of observations. I wouldn't say it's harder. Apparently I would say it's that different. Balloon up, and then very shortly thereafter, it was complete. Okay. Now, World War One planes are definitely uh, different. guys in the air yeah yes, we, we have are. taken off okay. uh, where were you we headed just uh, follow the road south towards uh, Arras and Mont Saint Eloy yeah we're gonna hit obs observation post see you you're not missing us by much maybe five minutes tops One thing to keep in mind in this area, there is uh, one airfield that is inactive for La Target. So if you show up to an airfield and there's a bunch of uh, anti-aircraft guns and no uh, windsock, it is not an active airfield. Do not land there. Headed down to Ross. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, if you follow that main road, we're there now. periodic notifications that there is an aircraft near Mont Saint Eloy. So keep your eyes open there. Twelve o'clock, just below your nose, gas can. There's something. Where? Oh, that's friendly. Valley. Roger. Is it another brisket? Yeah, it's another brisket. Ooh, helps if I mind my uh Level. <laughs> I almost dove myself into the dirt there. Yeah, and that's a uh, pretty valid combed. these 24 pounders do. Yeah, that enemy should be around here. <clears throat> yep. 
Yep, somewhere around here. Highest field. We're actually right about the point where we need to be turning uh, to the east. Give it another minute and then we'll turn. Okay, we're past the town, turning left. So that airfield down there at our 10 o'clock is not active. You'll notice no uh, air, no windsock there. So make sure you don't land at that one. Do you have us in sight, Parsons? I don't. I don't think so. Oh, uh, what's your current? Where are you guys currently at? We currently just am. we currently we just, just turned on uh, Mont Saint Eloy in the south Got near the AAA uh, battery. I'm still, I'm still way north, north basically. Right there. Where's your contact? Uh, Twelve thirty ish, moving right to left. About the same level as the Bristol's. No joy. Oh, and now it's moving left to right. Sorry, I miscalled that. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's what? a balloon. That's a balloon on the left side. Oh, Tally, got him. That's a DR1. Hi. Oh, yeah, I see it. You think he's coming? He sees us. For sure, I'm pretty damn I'm close. Firing. You okay. going for him, or you, you want me to go for I'm co altitude with him. I have him in my sight. Stand by. Yep. Grab that. I see watch five, out. watch out, you've got someone on your six. Someone on your six. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Sell your six. Yeah, I'm diving out. Okay. It's a D7. Yeah, bring him to the other side. Turn right, turn right. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, he's. Alright, I've got eyes on the target. Or yeah, Bruce. Of course. Is he broken off? Oh god, my wing broke. Yeah, I don't know, but I'll go fast to our target. Nah, he damn. Might be coming back. I'll All engage right, him if, if you did, he comes in. I'm gonna unlock my gunner station so you can assist. My gunner station is unlocked. Copy. Heads up, there's an airplane low over the target. Okay. Are you guys on the German side? Yes, we are. Well, we're halfway across the mud right there. Yeah, they're pretty close right. to our side of the lines. I can see some artillery at our low 11 o'clock. That will be the artillery objective down here. And at our yeah. low 1 o'clock, there is a plane near the uh, target area. Rip. Do you want you want me to go, or you want, you're going to bomb, and, and I'll come in with you? That DR-1 uh, was bait, I bet. It. I'm convinced it might ascend. We might have one or two on our six long, so. Okay. Be advised. Oh no, they took out our tanks. We have to cover the next wave better. Oh man. Oh, that was cool though. Good to know. I got. I guess I got hit worse than I thought. I think the the wing shedding was self induced. To be honest, I was going a little too quickly. 
What? Oh, you got a plane. Okay, I'm going to stay near you guys. Looks like it's a falls down low. Yeah, and he's heading is. towards you. That. All right. I'm going to drop my bombs and then turn towards him. All right, I'm coming on him. Elevator control broken. He's on me. Get him, get him, get him. Uh. Ailerons are gone. Reloading. Reloading. Ah! I'm dead. Shoot. They nah. took out my uh, ailerons. Yeah. Oh, I should have been recording that. Oh, well. Try playing on me. I'm going in. Oh, we can kind of watch it from here. Short. Holy shit. Ooh. Ouch. Uh, I have an RTX 2070. Um. Wounded. Yeah, I'm down. Hey, well, that was pretty cool. What did I end up with? Gunner's dead. Three deaths. Oh, that counted as me dying, which is kind of lame, considering... I was the gunner, but I'm going to go with uh, two deaths, <laughs> and one was self-induced by me bailing out, and uh, one uh, and two kills, so not bad. Two for one, that's what I'll go with. I'm not going to count, really, the accident, <laughs> me fat fingering, or, you know, me just dying as a gunner. That's weird that being a gunner considers you uh, dead, but overall, not a bad night. Not, not a bad day for me, honestly. I'm content with that. Hopefully we'll do better. And we completed quite a few objectives, too. So that'll probably do it for me. Man, they have that post really well defended. Hope you all enjoyed watching. It was quite fun. And I'll probably try to make time to stream the whole event uh, next Saturday.